by uh, said. I hope he's going to make more for us. And then they talk about that image for a while, and here we have another image by Zimond. Zimonde? Zimond? I don't know. Okay, so he's saying, Hi, new guy here, probably my first post. I haven't pre ordered growth yet, uh, not enough money yet, but I've seen several videos of it and uh, I've done some fan art. Now let's see if I can post it. Blah, blah, blah. It's a bunny from one of those tribes that are already shown, the Snowblood Paladins. So let's open this is an, in a new tab. There you have the image. It's a very... It's a style you don't see every day, that's for sure. I think... I'm not... Uh, mm, it's looking kind of cool, though. The uh, It's obviously like a style pic picture, so I'm not going to say anything about... About... What's it called? Proportions? Yeah, proportions. It's looking quite good, though. I don't like the shading, really, especially right here. It's looking very plastic like but in general it's a pretty cool picture and I'm sure he would be able to become very good because yeah I like the clothing especially the shading on the clothing it's looking very good mm, the face is looking kind of cartoony so yeah. I guess that's the style I was going for mm -hmm. and a weapon <laughs> yeah the weapon the horse Killing weapon, the horse head <laughs> yeah, exactly. cutting what, weapon. Makautl? <laughs> or something like that? Mahaka Makautl? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I should uh, keep working on um, shading and stuff like that because the plastic doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work with plastic. But it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Just practice, practice, practice for a while, and you'll be able to draw more wood-like mm. structure and yeah. uh, better shading. Smudge a little less. Yeah, I think uh, he's gone overboard a bit with the smudge tool, actually. Personally, I think the smudge tool feels kind of unreliable. It feels much easier to just use the normal round brush. That's what I use most often. But yeah, I don't know. I know Aubrey uses this much tool a lot, and his images are super awesome, of course, so that's cool. Someone is asking in the chat if um, <laughs> if we read what they're writing, and yes, we do. We might miss some things that you guys are saying, but I try to read uh, as much as I can. Though it's kind of hard to concentrate if, I, if I'm going to read and do this thing at the same time. Okay, so here we have another piece by Manto. Uh, okay, I'm just going to open this in new tab and uh, just quote him right here. This is really old, like from 2004, but I think it fits this universe very well, except for the human hands and feet. I love Luguru and I have enough faith in Wolfire to pre-order Overgrowth, so I just whip up some new fan art to boot. So that's awesome. And this image is looking awesome as well. It looks kind of like a rabbit version of the um, Kill Bill. I forget the name of uh, the sensei. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of, but does he have the long beard? He doesn't, does he? He should have like a one meter long beard or half meter long beard, beard as well. That he can say when he like throws it to the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super awesome. Yeah, Kill Bill. Pretty cool movie. <laughs> Okay. A picture is super awesome, yes. Yeah, it's a very, very cool style, and uh, yeah, it just, it's just awesome. <laughs> I kind of like more um, black and white pictures, more than colored, actually. Um, I think it can fit a picture to make it black and white, but like this picture fits very well in black and, black and white because it's just line art or whatever you call it mm. uh, but uh, uh, or maybe if like you if you remember the sad whaleman picture someone made way back that picture wouldn't fit very well uh, i mean having that picture in black and white fits very well but a picture like an outdoor scene uh, <laughs> like where there are trees or like birds like a happy scene that shouldn't be black and white because it's kind of hard to to convey a happy mood if something is black and white, if you know what I mean. Mm, yeah. 
So yeah, a color colors are a, a tool to to um, damn. I always forget my English word to convey. Yes, convey emotion and give mood to an image. So I think it has its its uses. Like if it's there, it it adds in a way. If it's not there, it also adds in a way. But yeah, <laughs> not really much to say about this image because I think the style on the image is very cool and I think it's drawn very well and I don't know really what to say about it except for that it's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, as they say in the chat, it looks kind of like Splinter. Yeah. yeah, it does look kind of like Splinter. That's true. He does have the the uh, moustache thing. No, he doesn't, does he? Hmm. Yeah. In uh, the movies, I don't know about the comics. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah, he does have. Oh, does he? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not a hardcore fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next piece. Uh, we have Broham's level right there. Uh, this is a platforming level made by community member Broham. He posted it in the Project Show Off thread on the uh, Circuit Pre-Order forums. So before I play the level for you guys, I'm going to read what he wrote about it. Made a platforming tower with a few enemies yesterday when I was bored. Figured I'd might as well post it here. I assume putting it in overgrowth data blah 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 blah. Okay. So let me play this level for you guys. That's the level I loaded here before. It's quite a big level actually as you can see. This is the longest platforming level or level in general at all that has been made nice. so far. The FPS is a little low for me, so I think as I encounter the enemies, I'm going to remove them to make sure that my FPS stays somewhat good. So start right, right here, jump up this stair, jump. It starts out easy, this is what's so awesome about this level. It starts out uh, very easy and then it gets harder and harder progressively, unlike any other map made so far. So here's a simple wall run, and here you have to do two wall or three if you want to, wall jumps. And here's an even harder one where you have to wall jump in the right place. Pool. Whoop. <laughs> and here's just a relax bit, I suppose. Got the strands here, and here's the first battle with one rabbit. Tower of Doom. Yeah. Oh. So there, that guy's dead. I'm going to remove him to make sure his ragdoll does not slow down my game. Blup. They're in here, and then we have a small room with nothing in it. Another a bigger room with a kind of a relaxing area in it. <laughs> and then another empty room. And you can move on right here. Yeah, someone's commenting on my mad skills. Actually, it's it's Philip um, Maydal. Philip Maydal is commenting on my skills. And yes, I've been platforming in this game since the dawn of Overgrowth. Oh no, I missed the jump. Dang. So that's why I'm pretty good at, <laughs> at this game. <laughs> but I think this level would be quite good for a beginner because, as I said, it... Uh, gets progressively harder so you can like try uh, you can like feel that you, you're getting better all the time because you can try an obstacle and if you don't make it you just try again and try and try and try until you make it and uh, yeah okay so I missed it again I'm going to move my spawn point up here actually <laughs> cheater I just want, don't want to waste too much time I <laughs> yeah. shouldn't waste any time oh uh, there we go. I'm probably going to have to do this more times. As you can see, I have only like 12 FPS, and that uh, makes platforming quite a bit harder than it normally is, <laughs> because I'm streaming. <laughs> okay, and then we have a simple wall jump thing here. Bro, no, you can't jump normally there. No. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, I broke my legs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I'm back here. Okay, cool. Jump, jump. 
jump. Okay, not jump. Uh, yeah, platforming with this kind of frame rate is not good for your health, kids. I'm going to play through the entire map, though. I'm going to make it through. And if you don't, the people who watch us can download the map and try it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can, that's true. Okay, so you need to do a wall, jump, run, jump here to get there. <laughs> and then you need to do a wall, run, jump, jump, crap. <laughs> and he'll fall down and break his legs unless I... Oh, oh, oh poor Turner. Place. There we have him back. Okay, I managed that part at least. I'm going to make it through this part now. Jump. Oh, one jump, one jump. Okay, missed again. <laughs> Breaking my legs. Oh, yeah. Wall jump. Poor, 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 poor. Yes. And then we have another wall run jump. And there we go. Wall run jump. And a stair up to the next fight. I'm going to try not to die here. In the Kung Fu fight. Okay, I died. I'm just going to revive myself. <laughs> cool. Knee in the face, small fucker. That's right. Okay, those are dead. Let me remove them. See if my FPS increases from 10 to 11. Yeah, it did. I have 11, no, 17. See, my FPS is much better now. 14. Yay. I just, like, got 50% more FPS. That's awesome. And there we have uh, one of these... <laughs> wall jump nightmares where you need to wall jump around and round actually <laughs> in my defense i had i haven't failed that w even once when <laughs> when i played this map through before and i've oh we fall out times. of map so that's right up there there we go straight to hell mm -mm -mm. that's something he might want to add like saves, if you know what I mean. I want a way to um, get to create checkpoints. That would be sweet. I mean, that's yeah. what this maps uh, th this map really needs. Yeah, a lot Let's of map needs. Again. No, I missed it. Okay, so I'm not going to waste time on that one because it's kind of boring to watch, I assume. So I'm just going to move my spawn point past that. This is right now. It's supposed to be down there. Okay, so I jumped up there, and now I'm here. Okay. Wall jump, wall jump, and I missed it. Crap. I'm so damn bad at this game, dude. There we go. Now I'm here. Let's see, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, like, wall run jump? Yes, indeed. And here's a simple jump. Wall jump up. Jump, jump. Here we have the third fight, and almost final. Where you fight against two wolves, actually. The other wolf is right there. And now he hit me, and means I instantly die. I'm just going to do the rabbit kick on these, because that's like overpowered. <laughs> okay. And then I jump here, run here. This place is kind of cool. No, I didn't jump far enough. Yeah, teleportation uh, volumes would work as well, uh, Wolf Brother. 
he suggested that 